haven't even been here for 15 minutes, but I've got like horse snot all over me. Equestrian Center and guess what? It's St. Patrick's Day! I'm not the only one dressed for St. Patrick's Day so since we're, it's a showing day Posh has to be braided and the braider put some green braids in her hair and I think it is so cute and she looks so cute in it. You can see that she has an adorable pom-pom in her forelock and she has a four-leaf clover charm at the bottom of her neck. I haven't even been here for 15 minutes but I've got like horse snot all over me. Currently I'm pretty glad that I have this over my white show shirt. <laughs> It's almost time to get posh ready, but since we do have a little bit of time left, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of our setup. So this is our little room for tack trunks. Evidently, it is originally used as a stall, but we repurposed it as a storage place for all of our trunks. If you wanna see what's in mine, I'm warning you, it's a little bit of a mess. So I have my schooling tall boots here, my schooling helmet, some bathing supplies here. I have just a bunch of random stuff that I use a lot up here. And then I have some treats and some spray bottles to help with like show sheet and fly spray and all that good stuff. This is personally one of my favorite parts of our setup. This is where everyone comes to get their snacks. We have like a bunch of cookies up here, some sweets up here, chips and chips and water bottles. I think one of my favorite snacks is these uh, lemon cookie snaps. They're really good and I've been kind of addicted to them. Hayden, come here. <laughs> Sorry. What's your favorite snack out of all? I like the lemon cookies a lot, to See? be honest. They're very and popular. My favorite salt too is probably the Doritos. Oh yeah, those are good. And if you haven't met my friend Hayden before, she is one of my barn friends and we like to hang out a lot and she's really sweet. Currently Hayden and I are help giving a bunch of the horses two flakes of hay. I'm giving food to my horse, Sweet Potato. She's my pony. And she's not as naughty as Posh, but she still can be naughty. <laughs> much more patient than Rascal and Posh. Rascal and Posh are just, they can lose their patience really quickly. And you may have noticed this time our barn area is indoors and this is unlike the other shows we do at uh, in Tennessee. So since it gets so cold here in Ohio, it's all indoors. If it wasn't indoors, I don't think we'd be here right now. <laughs> so it would just be way too cold. No one can pinch me, I'm still in green. So currently I'm getting myself ready for the show. I just got my show coat and show number on. I have my tall boots on, show reaches, show coat and show number on. Just gotta get my helmet on and then we gotta get posh ready. When I first started showing, I had to wear my hair in braids and ribbons. When I got a little bit older, I started wearing my hair in a hairnet and tall boots instead of ribbons and garters, and garters are just paddock boots with a little strap of leather around your knee. Um, it's mainly just for fashion, but it works. <laughs> basically, as you get older, the attire changes, and sometimes you change how you look but based on what how the horse looks. If you have like a cute little horse, you'll wear sh ribbons and piggy braids, but if you have like a really nice looking horse, you wear a hairnet and a helmet. <laughs> putting 
on her bridle. We are almost ready to head out. Ready to do the 26 USHJA, and we're getting pretty close. I think we're going in next. We just finished our two rounds, and I, if I'm being honest, my first round was absolute garbage. Um, probably the worst round I've ever done. I leaned out a bunch of jumps, and we missed some changes. We chipped some jumps. We left out a stride in a line, and that's all horrible stuff, which you should never do while riding. But then the second round, I got my act together, and um, it was really good. We sat back at all the jumps. We only chipped one jump, and that was coming into a line, which she gets spooked at sometimes. That was also because I leaned at the jump, but that was only one jump. We got one lead change later on, but it was still a really good round, and I'm really happy with it. All right, so I'm getting my gloves back on, and we are about to get back on for our flat class. So a flat class is basically where everyone, the judge basically just tells people to do like trot, canter, and it's basically judged on the horse's actions, because today we're doing it under saddle, so. That's what we'll be doing today. out of 19 I think I could have done better but um, we broke at the canter in the corner which means that we basically just stopped cantering and went to the trot when we were supposed to be cantering so that took us down a lot but besides that it was really good Honestly, we may not have gone in first, but I'm still really happy with her rounds, and I'm still pretty proud of her. So, she's getting a bunch of treats. <laughs> oh, that's yummy, isn't it? All horses love peppermints. As much as apples and carrots are known as horse favorite treats, a bunch of them really do like peppermints. So, they, you can see them all around the World Equestrian Center and everything. They're just a really popular treat among the horses. I've gotten used to horse slobber. I'm all done for the day, and I'm just chilling with this puppy right now. His name's Oakley, and he's adorable. But um, next up is the Grand Prix, and someone from our barn is going to be competing in that. So we are getting ready to go watch the Grand Prix. And um, yeah, the Grand Prix is basically a jumper event where uh, it's all about speed and time. Whoever can finish the course fastest without knocking over any poles is most likely the winner. So it's very different from what I do, which is hunters. And hunters is all about taking your time, making it look pretty, getting your flying lead changes, and getting all your strides. And then jumpers, it's all, it's all just speed. <laughs>
Well, we are wrapping up for the evening. I think today was a pretty good day, and I had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you guys next time. XOXO. Bye.